Well, we're, we're going to do three paintings. We have time, so we're going to bring up... We've chosen three quite contrasting paintings. So let's bring up the next one now. Okay. This painting is uh, called Synergy. And this, uh, this I, I have very mixed feelings with this um, because this was actually one of my my first abstract paintings when I went into abstract after years of landscape painting and some initial abstract that was more of a figurative abstract. And this was the first painting that I had, that I was just bold and resistant at the same time. Because part of me, uh, my I was in a class and my teacher said, I want you to get this great big canvas. I want you to put it on the floor. I want you to think of Pollock and use house paint. And I'm like, I'm not using house paint. Uh, I'm gonna use my acrylic paint. I will put it on the floor, but if I don't like it, I could paint over it. So that was kind of my resistant attitude going into it. And then as I just let go and started to paint and started to create, I could not stop. And I was so excited. I was so taken up with the painting. And this was the beginning of my world of abstract, of my complete life changing, of the way I paint completely changing. So I can almost see like bursts of color, bursts of movement. It's like once I let go of that resistance, it felt to me like I just like soar. And uh, black and red are very strong colors. And then you could see little bits of yellows and pinks and, you know, there's reds, but, you know, there's never just one red. So there's all kinds of, of movement and textures. So, yeah, so, something that people here don't know, because I've looked at the paintings on your website and we should make a point of putting that in. It's the in comments, the and I haven't, I haven't, I haven't given that to you, have I, Jill? Well, I've, I've um, found it. It's already. Oh, in. very good. Okay. Yes. So if you look through her paintings, you'll see black is not a common feature in her paintings. <laughs> so it's one of the reasons why I was interested in this one. So it's it's almost like a, a, it's kind of like the black is the. I'm making this up, Lenny. You can tell me, <laughs> but it's like the black <laughs> is that resistance that you broke out of. <laughs> you know, I, I, I yeah. <laughs> because after that you didn't use it much did you <laughs> no my uh you know i have some paintings that have black in them and then often when i want a really dark color i'll use a uh, prussian blue or i'll use a quinacrinone purple which uh can be very very dark and almost look like black but you get a little bit of reflection of the purple yeah. or blue so yeah. you're right it's not that i don't have black i'm just not always drawn to it yeah yeah so um so so what i'm going to do with this what i'm seeing is this, this breaking through the resistance perfect and freeing and freeing yourself does that work for you? That absolutely works for me. Okay, excellent.
Wow. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're you're having me see things in my paintings that I've never seen before. It's I'm living with them in a different way. And the experience is so heightened. It, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I'd love to hear what other people are experiencing as well. Yeah, well, let's 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 do that now. Let's um, if, if anyone wants to share about what's happened so far, we would be wonderful to hear from one or two people. Is there anyone want to say anything about this? We didn't talk about using the electronic hands or anything. Can I say, uh, can I say something? Who? Sure. One who, who's word. Talking? I want to say one word about that painting turmoil uh. <laughs> that's what it brings to me uh. i don't know if that's a very good thing to say or not well, no it, it, it's what that's the thing about um that's one of the things i love about abstract painting is, is you i mean you get to say what you see mm -hmm. it's not telling you what to see <laughs> <laughs> i mean the artist might have an intention but um it doesn't matter what their intention is. People are going to see what they see. Would you agree, Lenny? Absolutely. I um, and there was an element of turmoil absolutely in that painting. You know, I, I think it, it there was almost this start of resistance and, and turmoil and the unknown and not knowing where to go, and then like the word bursting kept coming into my head. Um, because I just felt like there was this first and then like, I don't know, renewal or, or just something shifted. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Bob, Bob, you want like to say to, something? I liked uh, Dave's, David's uh, comment from torment to victory. Mm. I don't think ah. you're seeing the chat, Lenny, from torment to victory. It was always like right. a, a, a uh, battle scene. <laughs> yes, yes. It was one of the most... I, I, had, I don't often improvise the repeated chords like that. So <laughs> it, was, oh, wow. it was good for my technique, too. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> used to doing that. <laughs> Thank you.